Thank you. Have you ever had the urge to click on one of those ads that claim an old classmate's trying to find you? Over the years, millions of people have succumbed to that temptation. Consumer reporter John Matarese tells us why many people who did are still paying for a membership they didn't expect. So you don't waste your money. Remember seeing pop-up ads from classmates.com five or ten years ago claiming that an old friend was trying to reach you? Well, it all seems so quaint now. Turns out, though, some people are still paying and paying and paying for memberships they thought ended years ago. Back in the pre-Facebook days, classmates.com was about the only way to find your mullet-wearing high school friends. But many people who joined years ago complain they're still being billed. In 2010, the site settled a class action, claiming it deceived customers into paying for services they didn't want. People who signed up, like Sandra Poland, received tiny checks or refunds for the hassle. But I would get a uh, $2 credit. Two dollars? Two dollars. Premium members got a little bit more. Now, if I was already a member, I would get a three dollar cash credit. As meager as the settlement was, lawyers hoped it would end the complaints, but it didn't. A viewer, Maria Rupp, just emailed to say, here it is 2013 with another $59 bill to our account. The website consumeraffairs.com has posted more than 20 complaints so far in 2013 about auto renewals that won't end. And the Better Business Bureau has more than 900 complaints since 2010, but still gives classmates.com a good grade because the terms are clearly spelled out in the contract. By giving your credit card, you agree to auto renewal every year. Classmates.com is not doing anything illegal, but if you keep getting charged for renewals, you might say, doesn't that stink? So always check your credit card statements for unexpected charges so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.